Hey guys, Ron Placone here and welcome to another edition of Thoughts, Rants, and Cold Coffee. Is 2016 the death of the left? Short answer, no. Technically you can stop watching now, but please don't. 2016 has seen a lot of death. George Michael, Carrie Fisher, Glenn Frey, Prince, David Bowie, Leonard Cohen, and that's just naming a few. And I do think there's an eerie connection, and I have no science to back this up, but I do think there's an eerie connection between odd political times and creative minds dropping like flies. Just think about the Bush administration, Kurt Vonnegut, Hunter S. Thompson, Johnny Cash, Elliot Smith, they all just kept dying while Bush was doing his terrible things. Is it just coincidental? Probably, but I firmly believe that it's karma of the universe telling us, hey man, things are messed up and we gotta wake up. It's a weird thing to believe, but People believe a lot of weird things. Just go out on any Saturday or Sunday morning. So that being said, now that we have Donald Trump, the left is going to be quite healthy. Donald Trump is an amazing recruiting tool for the left. This guy is a racist misogynist with a prominent Twitter profile and a filter that's about as useful as a Brita that expired 10 years ago. He is a better recruitment tool for the left than that pro-choice girl that took your virginity and introduced you to Noam Chomsky freshman year of college. Plus, you got the momentum started by Bernie. Now, what this might be the death of is neoliberalism and corporate Democrats, but that has nothing to do with the left. Neoliberalism is about as progressive as an RNC convention on a golf course in the middle of Utah. And it has failed us. So these establishment Democrats either need to adapt to a more populist message, need to get out of the way, or we need to vote them out. So I'd like to wish you and yours a happy new year and let's stay awake. This is Ron Placone signing out.